Okay guys, we are totally doing it. We're totally doing it. Hey, good morning everyone. So the day is finally here. So we're just getting loaded up. We got everything on our new 36 foot double A gooseneck. What a freaking beauty this trailer is. So yeah, we went with the mega ramps, double spring assist. So it helps you uh, unfold them as well as fold them up. Triple axle, torsion axle, 7,000. So 21,000 pounds of axles. Upgraded 14 ply tires. Um, what's great about the double A goosenecks is this engineered beam they have. So they keep on a normal trailer, you're going to have your beam and then you're going to have your cross struts and then you're going to have your decking material. So you end up with a little bit taller of a deck. Double A likes to keep everything as low as possible. So that just helps keep your load as low as possible. Not only does it help with loading and unloading, it just helps with catching the wind. You guys can see they use a torque tube, which is that tube that runs the whole length of the trailer and that just keeps everything super rigid. Keeps the whole trailer from not flopping around. Really helps with overall rigidity. Went with a couple extra storage boxes, great for straps. They got nice steps. We went with a full length stake pocket rail. Really great for tying down. In here is where the battery is stored for the winch. And it comes with a master disconnect switch. So I just have that out right now so you don't, uh, so your battery doesn't go down. But it also is equipped with a solar panel trickle charger. So as long as there's sun and as long as there's, <laughs> as long as it's not covered, that keeps your battery topped up. It do, does have an external, you can run an extension cord and top that up if you want. So here's a great shot of the spare tire carrier. So obviously you would just flip your end gate down, that flips down, great place to store your spare tire up and out of the way. There's a good shot of the winch. So a 16 and a half ton winch should drag any dead machine you need up onto the deck. Speaking of decks, we went with this forward deck over the gooseneck. Just gives you a whole nother platform. Easily fit a quad, even two quads would probably fit up here. Good shot of that. Just maximizes your, your towing room. So yeah. <laughs> So we got uh, uh, 1,800 kilometers to go. It's the old Chevy, it's minus 18 out right now. I don't know, it doesn't look like it's sunny. It's actually freaking gorgeous out. Not much for wind, but it's chilly. So we are gonna get the last few things thrown in the truck and then we are gonna get going, you guys. Heck yeah. I can't wait to see how this thing tows. So we put the last strip a little bit back just to try to get the weight over the axles. Keep a little bit of tongue weight off the truck. So we'll see how she tows. Towing empty, of course, it was just beautiful. It towed, towed freaking gorgeously. So overall capacity is right around 21,000 pounds minus the 7,000 pounds the trailer weighs. So we get almost 14,000 pounds of, of carrying capacity. So we are well under that. Sherps are pretty light. Sherps are like 5,200 pounds. So, all right, I'm freaking excited to get on the road, guys. Let's freaking go. start we're Canadians of course we had dry roads and now we have snow yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah we uh, when we did our trip a month ago we had literally the best driving conditions the like dry pavement the whole way so looks like we're getting into a little bit of junk right now it's not too bad just a little bit of kind of sleety kind of icy roads but not nothing too crazy but I just thought we'd video a little bit here for you guys because it looks so pretty going through the kind of like the drum hill valley. Beautiful badlands. Yeah.
my goodness, good morning. Okay, it's the morning of us getting out, out there. So look at that. So it was supposed to be pouring rain, so as long as this holds like it is, it's gonna be freaking perfect. So doesn't that look freaking awesome, you guys? Oh my goodness. We're, we're a ways away, so when you actually get up close to the ocean and you see the waves and then... You no, it's good. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's going to be good. Oh, God. But yeah, so, um, I don't know, the other truck, they're like, they're really humming and hawing at our idea, but we'll make the call when we get there, but man, we just got to get out there. Like, the Sherps are capable, but, right, you're not going to be fighting no strong currents. You know, it can only go six kilometers an hour, but as long as the currents are going in and out... There's that flat spot, you know, when 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 it's just sitting. So we got Marcel with us. He's our he's our uh, uh, nautilus. What do you call it? Uh, he's our uh, Is resident, Popeye? a resident expert, ocean expert. So um, he's kind of you know obviously been kind of studying the current patterns and stuff. So we'll, we'll be good. We'll be fine. Okay. We'll okay. It's okay. Windy. So hit that wide open skim. Gets us out there. <laughs> There's a really stiff wind. I really just want to get around this corner from here. Okay. <laughs> I think I just went into the bathroom. So when he comes out, we're going to have a little chat with him. Yeah. See how, see, you know, on the legalities of, of everything. We just want to, like, go in and just, like, go around the points and go here, basically, and then come back. And I'm just wondering on, like, they're a fully sealed hull, like, they're uh, amphibious. Like, we don't want to be stepping on anyone's toes or doing anything we shouldn't be doing it. Yeah, put around, come back up the boat. What do you think, Jim? That's a great idea. <laughs> okay, okay. I see that you guys have a Facebook, Twitter account, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can follow us too. Austin Cruiser can follow us. Yeah, yeah there you go. Okay, guys, it is windy as heck, but the good thing is the wind's kind of blowing in. So, my plan, uh, Jesus, this is tough. You only have so much, uh, you know, six kilometers an hour max in a Sherp, so you're pinned in third gear. But my plan would be to go in the water and then head out into the wind, right? And see how much progress we can make. And then, you know, when all else fails, you can just turn around and of course, you're gonna be able to make good time back. As long as the guy doesn't start getting blown away here is all. Okay. So, yeah. We got our plan. Mm -hmm. The black one's going in because okay. it's really windy. Jimbo just. <laughs> Jimbo's gonna be on shore, gonna pull us in. Anyways, we're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna, I'm literally going in in sixth gear. I'm gonna try to skim as far as I can. I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna try to go into the wind. Yeah. And that'll tell us right away if I'm making any progress or not. And then if I'm not, I can turn around and hopefully get back, get back oh. to the boat launch. Yeah, exactly. So there's a lot of unknowns. So put a parachute. We'll all find out together. <laughs> parachute would be the wrong thing, right? I'm not. Just kidding. Like taking us. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Jim, get in there and see if it's spring loaded. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You're taking my baby away. Now I gotta now I gotta make that one look cooler. Well you can have the wrap back, you're gonna peel that off. Yeah, I know. You should just put yours on top of there. He's like, I'm gonna take it into the water. <laughs> he probably will. Okay. So what you're saying is your first five minutes of ownership you want want to do the sketchiest thing that either of us has <laughs> ever done in a shirt. That's what you're telling me. Probably. <laughs> Literally, I got so much butterflies right now, but it'll probably be okay. So, we'll see. Probably. Get this black guy unloaded, and I don't think you should come with me. You should just stand well, on the point Well, I'm going to video. Yeah. yeah. You guys, somebody to video. And then, uh, I'm, Jim, I'm coming Jim, in hot. I'm Jim, going, going in, in with gear. you, he said. I'm going to fly the drone. Oh, yeah, because you can't I'll swim. I'll go solo. So, well, we'll put Marcel in Marcel. there. Marcel. Well, He's got all this navigation and, and, so and Marcel's wife hates him, so he doesn't care if he dies. <laughs> nice. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Sounds like I got a partner. Oh, yeah. Dallas, it's you got... Off. Look at... It's happening. Straps are off? Yep. Yeah. Dallas has got his, uh, his my, life jacket I on. My, I got my brave face on. <laughs> David's like, what? Life jacket? Who needs that? As he backs into the conservation officer's truck. <laughs> Can you imagine? Whoopsie! 
to it. You know what would be cooler than one shrimp in the ocean? It's two it's like shrimp. Like a hobbit just coming out of the Holy shit. We don't need the trailer hitch. We might need this. Bilge, yeah. Dallas. Hey. Bye. I'm, I'm very Nice scared. meeting you. This camera. Pray for me. All right. Dallas is probably like screaming right now. everything so so this is our this is our naval captain that yeah, exactly. he had a, he, had, he had let's just Couple say concerns. out of 100 he was 140 worried for us yeah, yeah. so now <laughs> i'm saying let's go to anvil island yeah, exactly. like, I'm, seriously, but like i said actually, now now we have to come back what a joke like how many times we got to come back to bc oh man it's, it's never <laughs> move here. It's dallas is like right? whatever i only shot myself once <laughs> <laughs> only going into the i heard you Holy i heard you <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't feel natural. You're going downhill entering the water. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so so what are you saying right now? 
I'm saying that was a total success. It was super fun, and uh, my and butterflies you're, and are you're coming back. To, uh, oh, oh, hey, hello. Like, who's <laughs> yeah, paying for our fuel? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's hey, it's, diesel's it's only two dollars a liter. It's yeah. not a oh, big deal. It's going up to three, but <laughs> hey. UFA card, but no, that was freaking awesome, guys. And like I said, that CO was super cool. Everything was awesome. Everything worked out really great. It's Even, one of those things where you have this huge weight lifted off you. So we now awesome. know. We, we, we now first. know that the Sherp is capable of a lot more than we even thought. Everything was. I, I, I never. I never Except doubted when it. the captain hears you. Here are the yes. doubters. Here are the doubters. I never no, doubted. There's it. No, there's no There's one doubter. But look at him. He one even doubter. went for it, even though he oh, didn't yeah. know if he was yeah, going to survive. Yeah, everyone. Gary, everyone. there is one doubter. Well, well I, we talked to him. I talked to him. The most experienced, the most knowledge, like, now you guys are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are idiots. But you know what? You've also. never been in the Sherp, right? Never. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. You don't they're, know what its are, capabilities they are, very, are. They are very capable. So now, oh, oh, cool. All right. Now, Marcel, what is your opinion with the Sherp? I love it. <laughs> I love Can it. I have one, too? Earlier, yes. this, yes, earlier this morning, you guys are complete idiots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, all right. He's been texting me all week saying, you guys are idiots. You guys are idiots. Marcel trying to talk us out of doing it just because he's whatever. never been and yeah he's never been a sherp doesn't really know what they can do and he was just erring on the side of caution and and me looking at it we've been in way rougher water you know so I I wasn't concerned about the waves at all I was concerned about the wind and the current because if you get those two things working against you but obviously it was not enough the sherp is freaking amazing I'm so glad we did it I was almost to the point we were gonna relocate we we're gonna go into a lake and do some some sherping around in a lake today I'm so glad I persevered and it did was, it because it was awesome. It was an all-around win-win-win. Yeah. Because we talked to the conservation officer. Yeah, totally. We got a whole bunch of information. Yeah. We got the okay to do it. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for this video, man. That was freaking deadly. That was one of my 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 all-time things coming out west is oh, I got to get it out of now the Now we got to do so, it again. Yeah, exactly. Now we got to come back and do our uh, Anvil Island and our hike. Like, that is going to be crazy. It's like a two-hour hike. you got to climb ropes. It's so steep. But anyways, we got to do it on a nicer day when you can get up and enjoy that view that view up at the top is amazing but i'm so glad we did it the sherp is freaking amazing the trailer uh, everything's been so rad the truck everything's been so great this trip we are in like 23 hours of towing on the way here so including the time coming up here so everything has been going really good and this is only the start of a three-day extravaganza but this is going to do it for day one video as always if you guys want to support us go to oscruiser.com if you need any recovery gear it's one of the best ways to support us we got super strong recovery gear on our on our on our website, oscruiser.com. And like always, we wouldn't be able to do any of this without you guys. We freaking love you guys. We'll see you next video.